Hello, welcome to your next lesson in diagramming sentences. In this lesson, we'll be learning how to diagram modifiers. But before we can start diagramming modifiers, we should talk about the new parts of speech and the new parts of a sentence that we'll be covering in this lesson. The parts of speech that we'll be covering are adjectives, including articles, adverbs, possessive and demonstrative pronouns, and possessive nouns. The part of a sentence that is new to us is the modifier. A modifier is a word or group of words used to add to the meaning of a sentence. Specifically, modifiers can be adjectives, adverbs, possessive nouns or pronouns, or demonstrative pronouns. An adjective is a word that modifies a noun or a pronoun, and they answer what kind, which, how many, or whose. Adverbs modify verbs, adjectives, or another adverb, and they answer how, how much, when, or where. A possessive noun or a pronoun is a word that shows ownership. So if it's something belonged to me, I would call it my book. My would be a possessive pronoun. If it belonged to somebody named Sue, I would call it Sue's book with an apostrophe S. A demonstrative pronoun is this, that, these, or those, where you're indicating the thing or the items in question. So for example, we can start with one noun, dog. We can add to that by calling it a big dog we could add to it again by calling it a big gray dog. We could add to it one more time by adding the article the big gray dog. Then the dog needs to do something in order to form a sentence. So let's have the dog bark, the big gray dog barked. Then we can actually modify how the dog barked by adding loudly and fiercely. So in the end, we can have the big gray dog barked loudly and fiercely. The big gray describes the dog loudly and fiercely describes barked and and is the conjunction which we covered last time when we talked about compound subjects and compound verbs in diagram form this sentence would look like this the big gray dog barked loudly and fiercely where the modifiers are placed on an angle 45 degrees underneath the word that they modify dog is the subject it's on the left side Barked is the verb, it's on the right side or the predicate side. The, big, gray, all describe dog. Loudly and fiercely describe how the dog barked. Let's go through it one piece at a time. You still start with a baseline. You then add your predicate line. Fill in your subject. Fill in your verb. And notice that you have a conjunction in the sentence, which means you have a compound adverb. Some students like to think of this compound construction like a house or like a rocket ship. We've seen it before, for example, when you took a look at how it looked for a compound subject or a compound verb. But in this instance, it's simply the compound adverb. Then we have the adjectives and adverbs on a 45 degree angle under the words they modify. The compound adverb being in the house or rocket ship formation. The word the is an article that describes dog. Big describes dog. Gray describes dog loudly describes how the dog barked, fiercely also describes how the dog barked. So in the end, we come up with the diagram, the big gray dog barked loudly and fiercely. So why don't you have a try? You can pause the video to try these sentences on your own. The answers will follow. As for a hint, remember that only nouns and pronouns can be subjects. Verbs can be up to four words long. Compound subjects, verbs, and modifiers can be linked by coordinating conjunctions. In the same pattern that you used for compound subjects and compound verbs. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video and then take a look at the answers. 
Sue's little dog walks carefully. Dog is the subject. Walks is the verb. Sue's and little both describe the dog. Carefully describes how the dog walks. Dog is the subject in dog leaps playfully. Leaps is the verb. The describes dog. Playfully describes how the dog leaps. Big dogs eat quickly. Dogs is the subject. Eat is the verb. Big describes the dogs. Quickly describes how the dogs eat. Small dogs bark often. Small describes dogs, dogs being the subject. Bark is the verb. Often describes how the dogs bark. Roger's dog plays roughly. Roger's is the possessive noun describing dog. Roughly describes how the dog plays. Dogs is the subject in their guard dogs will bite. Will bite is the verb. Their and guard both describe the dogs. The Labradors are eating. Labradors is the subject. Are eating is the verb. The describes the Labradors. Their long tails are wagging very happily. Tails is the subject. Are wagging is the verb. There and long both describe tails. Now we have something special happening with the adverbs. Happily describes how the dogs are wagging. Very describes to the extent that the dogs are happily wagging. So very is actually an adverb describing another adverb. So we have a horizontal um, construction and then another uh, diagonal construction where the secondary adverb sits. Four dogs are swimming and fetching. Four describes how many dogs, dogs is the subject, are swimming and fetching is the compound verb. Soon the cats will be purring. Cats is the subject. Will be purring is the verb. The describes cats and soon is the adverb that describes when the cats will be purring. So how did you do? If you're still having trouble, review additional information about adjectives, adverbs, possessive pronouns, and possessive nouns. Remember to draw your subject-verb divider line. Every sentence has a subject and a verb. Add modifiers under the words that they directly modify. Ask what the modifier is modifying before you try to diagram the word. So, if you can answer what is an adjective, what is an adverb, how do I form a possessive noun or pronoun, how do I diagram a modifier, can I diagram more than one modifier per sentence, and will diagramming modifiers really help me with my grammar? And if you can diagram modifiers, then it's time for you to move on to the next lesson. So thank you for paying close attention. I hope diagramming modifiers made complete sense to you. However, if it did not, please remember that you're always welcome to post a question in the questions area or send me a message. Okay, until next time, thank you. Enjoy your lessons.